This is another flower for the swap hosted by Whimsy Flower on Life at the Scrap Beach. And this is from the set that's for the cream, brown, and black flowers. And this one's the cream flower. And what I've done here is I've made kind of a ragged lace and sheer fabric flower. Yes! And I'm going to show you how to do it. First you need um, a piece of sheer fabric. And as you can see, I've frayed the edges. Let's see if that shows up on the camera. And then also um, a piece of lace. And then what I've done here is I've folded the lace in half. And then you sew a, a running stitch that goes along the edge like this, along the fold, so that you have the two layers like that and you sew it on top of the frayed piece so that it goes like this right along there and then you take your scissors and you cut random pieces along the edge here's the edge that has the fold with the stitch and then this is the loose edge so that you have a piece like that with the fraying sticking out then you're going to take a felt circle and a glue gun and I've, I have these skeleton leaves that I'm going to put on and so I'm going to go ahead and glue that on right away and just glue it so it's sticking out. And also the looped pearls. I decided to stick these on first just because I thought it would look a little cleaner on the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the loop on as well. And then I will start gluing. Just put a dot of glue and then start with the fabric. And you'll kind of be looping the fabric up, folding it or Feeding it, whatever you want to call it, and then adding more glue. Each time, just continuing to fold it. Just right along the edge. that. See how it's starting to make that edge on it. Just continue adding more glue. I just add a little bit of glue at a time. And just quickly pleat and press. Then as you get to the end here, I actually go ahead and cut it off just wherever one of those little spots are and glue it on. So, so far it will look like this. And then we'll continue on with the, the rest of the piece that we still have. I started out with a piece that was probably about a foot long. I didn't measure exactly. And then you'll just go ahead and keep putting another blob of glue. And continue pleating. Oh, and I also um, have been doing this... Um, I had been doing this with the lace set up, but I see that I had turned it upside down. <laughs> Which actually doesn't really seem to matter, but... It doesn't visibly look 
much different either way. So anyway, I was, if I'd been paying better attention, I would have noticed that, but I didn't. And I'm using um, a low melt glue gun. It's a little bit easier on the fingers if you do touch it. It doesn't. It's not quite as hot. It doesn't burn quite as much. Oops, I think I'm getting off camera. Just continuing to pleat it. then just cut off any excess that you have and glue it down so now our flower looks like this and then we'll put a blob of glue in the center was a brad. This is a making memories brad. And then I'll put another little blob of glue in the center and we will stick on the other piece. And there That's you are. That's the finishing touch. Thank you, flower. Thanks for watching.